All right, I'm going to step you through a procedure one last time before we move on to a different style of procedure tomorrow. All I'm going to do in this video is outline all of the different parts of a procedure using the original one I did when we started this, how to make Vegemite toast. And I'm going to include all of the bits and pieces. See, I have done the first two parts of my procedure. I have got my heading, how to make Vegemite toast, with a little picture of some Vegemite toast. And I've moved on to my goal. So I have my title and my goal. My goal, remember, is what I want to achieve once the procedure has been completed. So in this case, my goal is to make delicious Vegemite toast. Now I have included that word delicious there because it's an adjective and we know that that makes our writing more interesting. All right, before I even move on to the third step or third part of our procedure, I'm gonna point out something that I've been pointing out from the beginning that some people are still missing. In between each section of the procedure, it is important that we leave a blank line, otherwise our procedure is very hard to follow. And remember, sometimes if you are creating something following the procedure, you are going to need to be able to follow it whilst also doing something else. So if our writing is all jumbled up together, it makes it very hard to follow. So you will see, I have left this line here empty because that makes it a clear distinction between my goal and my third part of the procedure, materials and ingredients. All right, now that I have left that line and put my heading materials and ingredients, I'm now going to list them. Remember this part of our procedure is kind of like a shopping list. We don't want to forget things. So each part of the procedure, or sorry, of the ingredients and materials is separated by a dot point. Each item is like on a shopping list with its own dot point so that you can kind of tick them off as you go. Okay, you can now see that my steps are complete. The things you need to remember when you are doing your steps. Firstly, each step goes on its own line and we never put the number on the same line as another step. You can see I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, all on their own line. A lot of my steps did go onto a second line and that's fine, but the step that comes after it, starts on a new one. The other thing that you need to remember when you are doing your steps is what we worked on yesterday. We are using transition words, which remember are words that allow us to transition from one step to another, and action words, the verbs, the doing words um, in each step to make sure that the person following your procedure is doing the right action. You can see now that I have underlined all of my transition words in green. You may also notice that the transition word is the first word that happens in our steps. Firstly, now, when, after that, again, and finally. If you are lost looking for transition words, refer to the poster that is available on the website. That will help. Also in each step, I have underlined the action words. I have collect, push, take, put, spread, spread, and cut. If you are stuck for action words, think of what you're doing when you're actually completing the procedure, or you can refer to our action words poster also available on the website. Lastly, I have added my conclusion. The conclusion is what they should do once they are finished. Mine says, now you have a yummy breakfast ready to eat. Enjoy. That sums up my procedure and tells them what they should do now that they're done. I have also included this word yummy, which is another adjective to make it more interesting. Notice now that I've also added a picture to the bottom of my procedure and in my procedure picture, you can see all of the things that I needed. I've got my plate, my butter and Vegemite on the toast, the two pieces of bread and the knife. So the picture that I've drawn is relevant to the procedure that I have written. The last thing I have for you today and that you will continue to use as we write both formal and creative procedures 
is a checklist for when you're writing your procedures. Before you submit your work to your teacher, I would like you to use this to check that you have all of the elements that are required and that I've explained in the last video. You can see that you need your title, goal, materials or ingredients, detailed instructions, transition words, conclusion sentence, diagrams or pictures, and the last one that I've just added today, which is why it's in another font, is the line space between each part. That means a gap between your title and your goal, a gap between your goal and your materials, and so on. You will also obviously edit your piece of work for capital letters and full stops and spelling, but please have a look at our procedure writing checklist before you submit your work to your teacher. This will be your last formal procedure that we will be asking you to write before something a bit of a fun starts on Wednesday, uh, Thursday now. But please have a go at doing your best one yet and write us one more procedure